Hello guys, uh, I'm glad to be alive this morning and I thank God for the gift of life and I just want us like to share or talk about what is happening. I see videos going all over about uh, people, some Kenyans, they need help from Saudi and other parts of the Middle East. Yes, we know that there are scarcity of jobs in our place and still it doesn't uh, like uh, qualify us to risk our lives when you see this is a, a, a burning fire you don't put your leg inside when you see this uh, boiling water you don't just put your finger inside you get burned yes I know sometimes how it gets to that point whereby you are just like I will do anything maybe you have children you have a family to provide for and you see that things are just way way not going the way you wanted or you are going through believe me it is better to suffer in your home than go in a place whereby no one knows how no no one cares about you no one cares about the, the value you are worth you are worth much to go risking your life in saudi why go to saudi there are so many countries that you can go anything that is for free just know that there are risks and they are like uh, you you will pay for it there is nothing that is for free especially with people who throughout the history since we have been like young up to now we just hear horrible things about housemaid being how the housemaid are being treated in Saudi so why risk eh? there is nothing that we haven't seen there is nothing that we haven't been told and it's not only about Kenya and it's not only the Kenyans that have died in Saudi we have so many people that have died in Saudi that this is a, a, an evidence or a proof to you that it is a no-go zone. Saudi is a no-go zone. It's a no-go zone. Don't risk your life. Right now, I know there the, the, the are agencies that have come up with something like they take you for training. My friend, they take you for training. They are not the ones who are going to work there. You are the one going to work there. Mind you, your age matters a lot. You just maybe came from uh, high school or maybe uh, if not high school maybe primary or you've never done like housework housework in in Saudi is not a joke housework in Saudi is not a joke housework is in Saudi is slavery is slavery is slavery and no one is going to be by your side I'll tell you it is you it's survival for the fittest yeah one thing you need to know that is total slavery there is no excuse to that that is slavery because one you work no day off at least there are some other middle east countries whereby you can get a day off or you can rest for some hours then they don't want you to rest they don't they don't know anything like you are human especially when they see people of color especially when they see africans especially that they know you don't have blood you have petrol Second, food. You will survive on water and maybe even that water you don't even know because you have two waters in South. The one in the tap, they don't drink and it is not good to drink. And you maybe you will be forced to drink and you don't know what you're doing to yourself. Maybe you're poisoning yourself. Don't go to Saudi. Don't go to Saudi. Don't go to Saudi. They're lying to you that they are training you. There is nothing like training. They, they don't even, this one, they don't even know what is training you. They train you in Nairobi or in wherever you will be in Kenya. But when you reach to Saudi, there is nothing like training. You'll do as they tell you. Not, don't bring, you'll not bring to them the, the, the training that you are being lied to in Kenya. There is nothing like training. You will go and do as you are told. There is nothing like, if they say you not wash with the machine, you will wash with your hands. There is nothing like you will wash with the machine. You will do as they tell you. You no sleep. There is no sleep. You sleep maybe two hours, three hours. You wake up. And then they use you. Know that they will use you. Because this is whereby maybe a family has a, like a... a a mother, a, ma a mother has like five kids. You don't even know when they... The kids come and go and the children, the grandchildren, they are like a school. And these people give birth. It's not a joke. Every year, every year, every year, every year, every year, there is a child. You are just 18. 
how will you handle a, a woman with five kids? You yourself you can't even handle your younger brother. How are you going to handle seven kids, five kids? Her herself, she will do nothing. As long as you land, you land in that house, you take responsibility. The children, the, the, the housework. You'll be running up and down, up and down. And mind you, there is nothing like two bedroom, three bedroom. It's a house that uh, the less, maybe like 15 rooms, 20 rooms, that you've not counted the toilets. And without a toilet, the bathrooms, they are huge. So don't risk your life going to Saudi. Saudi is a no-go zone. Mockery. They will mock you. They will mock you to a point you feel like you just want to harm yourself. The next thing you know is you want to commit suicide. The only thing that will be coming to your mind is suicidal minds, suicidal thoughts. They will be running through your, 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 your head. So don't risk. Go sell tomatoes. What is wrong with, you know, I don't, I want to go on the street. And then you will be paid only, how much are you going to be paid in Saudi? Uh, they maybe $100, $200. And it, they will not even pay you. It is when it comes to end month. That is when now the, 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 the I don't know, pressure. They, they will pressure you because now you need your money. Ha! You will not get it easily. You will not get it easily. Let nobody lie to you. Those agencies that they lie to you right now, I know that they are telling you people, you go training, we are taking you for training, and everything has changed in Saudi. Everything. You don't even know where the embassy is. You call the embassies. The embassy has a lot to deal with. Not just one case. There are millions, I don't know, millions of thousands of, or hundreds of cases of that domestic violence, domestic what. Which one are they going to handle? Mind you, they've told you in Kenya, don't risk going to Saudi. Don't risk. Don't risk your life. Agents, they will lie to you. They tell you when you've reached there, you'll call the agent and the agent, they connect you to the agent that is in Saudi. No, 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 my friend. What you are going is just slave trade, modern slave trade. Because after one house, you'll be taken to another one. After another one, they take you to another because they paid for you. First, I saw when you advise people about Saudi, they don't want to, they say that you're jealous, you, you're jealous of them going there. Hmm? What they do to you is the, the sponsor in Saudi will cater for your ticket, will cater for your, your visa. So, and then the agency is paid. So you are left. When you land, you will pay for that money. If you don't have a passport, they'll tell you we will give you everything. Now you're desperate, maybe you have not been working for years. You finished high school, you finished college, you finished or maybe you when you are just from the village, you don't know anything. And uh, here you go. You want to, like you are told, we will get you a passport, we will get you everything. Fine. That money you are going to pay for it. And remember, for them, they are paid their portion. After they pay their portion, they have nothing to do. You are the one going to suffer. You will suffer. We have other countries that are good in Middle East that you can find jobs and don't risk going to Saudi. Then when you reach there, you'll be crying to the embassy, you'll be crying to the government. What do you want the government to do for you? You took yourself there. You've been hearing everything. So who is to be blamed? Is it you or the government? And is it worth is it worth sacrificing your life to go to, a, to people who don't care about you, who don't even like, they, 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 you know, at least if they have, in, they have humanity in them, you can go. But these people, <laughs> you, are, you are nothing. They call you maskin, maskin. You are poor, you are nothing. Yet you are not poor, you are a child of God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. We don't know anything like poor or anything. We all we know the poorest person on earth is someone who has not accepted Jesus. That's the poorest person on earth. But as long as you are breathing, you are healthy. In, 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 we, even, we need to thank God because you can go to your auntie's house and eat. You can go today, tomorrow to your neighbors and eat. You can even go and sit with your friend, make stories. 
eh, like you are making story na ukule na utoke huko you will eat, where will you eat and then they don't want ladies in the street when you are seen on the street you you might end up being raped you go to the police they don't care they speak one language no help for you no help because when they take you to another thing is yeah the language these people they want you to speak arabic you don't know how to speak arabic this is where by now you start by this is the language hinu 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 i i said ah, 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 ah. I can't inu hinu 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 what is hinu 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 come go come that is the only thing you will hear them telling you so why why risk why go and they some of them they force you to convert they don't want you to mention your Jesus they don't want you to worship your Jesus why risk Saudi is a no go zone is a no go zone let no one lie to you they are lying to you don't risk is it worth it is not worth risking your life going to Saudi. So don't go calling up on the government. Serikali to Saidiye, Serikali to Saidiye. Did Serikali take you there? Some of you are even going through the back door. Saudi is a no-go zone. They threw you in the street. Where will you go? You have to eat the leftovers. Yes, you can eat the leftovers and survive. But Saudi is a no-go zone. Mention of other countries. And even housework in an Arabic house, it's risking. Especially, I don't know, it's to risk. So, pray God. Before everything, pray. God will open a way and you'll get a job. Pray. Don't say, I have prayed and God has forgotten about me. No, 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 no. God will never forget about you. We forget about God. God never forgets about us. Pray. God will open a way. Don't risk your life. Saudi is a no-go zone. Don't be lied to that. They get you a passport. They, they, they do this. They buy you gifts. They are one. We have people who have succeeded. But look at them. Some of them, they will come home. They die. Disease, strange diseases. All the money that you use there, you come again and all. You spend in the hospital. Saudis are no bozo. Thank you guys. God bless you as you as you get the information. Share the video. Uh, tell your friends about it and subscribe. <laughs> subscribe for more. As I share with you, I'll be sharing with you actually my experience in Gulf. I've been to several countries and I know I have been through a lot. So I will share some of the, uh, the horrible moments. Actually, how I left, I was a full-time minister in charge. I was serving full-time and left to the Middle East, into slavery actually. How I left church into slavery. But I will explain to you. So God bless you and please, it is not worth risking. Because even when Jesus comes, he'll find you confused. Confused. Don't risk. God bless you so much and uh, tell somebody about it, Jesus. John 3 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I have the everlasting life, I will not perish. So I wouldn't want you also to perish. So share the information, John 3 16. In Saudi, you will not have time to share, you will not have time to John 3 16. No. So don't risk, it is not worth it. Love you.